Hello everyone, my name is SN Patil. In this video lecture, we will discuss the Fourier cosine and sine transform of the function x raised to m minus 1. Let f of x is equal to x raised to m minus 1. So first, we write the cosine transform formula. The Fourier cosine transform of the f of x, it can be written as 0 to infinity f of x cos lambda x with respect to x integration. And f of x is x raised to m minus 1. Say equation number 2. Similarly, the Fourier sine of the f of x is 0 to infinity integration. f of x sine lambda x with respect to x integration and substitute the value of f of x. Now 2 and 3. It means what? Fourier cosine and sine of the x to the power m minus 1. So here we use the gamma function design. The gamma function, definition of gamma function is gamma function, gamma function, the gamma of m, it can be written as 0 to infinity e to the power, e to the power minus t and t raised to m minus 1 with respect to t integration. Okay. So here, uh, we make the sum substitution so that we get the cosine and sine function. So for that we use uh, substitution is put putting uh, t is equal to t is equal to uh, i time lambda x. Okay, we know the Euler function result e to the power i theta. e to the power i theta is cos of theta plus i time sin theta. So here we use this substitution in uh, equation number 4 so that we get equation 2 and 3. For that purpose we use uh, substitution t is equal to i time lambda x. And what is i? So here i is uh, so for which value of the theta here we get the i. So here uh, theta if you put pi by 2 side pi by 2 is 1 and cos pi by 2 is 0. So it can be written as cos of pi by 2 plus i times sine of pi by 2 and it can be written as in exponential form that is e to the power i pi by 2. Okay. Now substitution is uh, t is equal to i times lambda x that is with t transfer to the x. Similarly with respect to t also change that is uh, t uh, differential both side that is dt is equal to i time lambda is constant uh, dx okay now limit also change okay this these are the limit for the t variable now new limit for the x see what happen if you put t equal to 0 x is 0 no problem and when we put t equal to upper limit infinity then uh, x is infinity so there is no change in a limit limit is as it is now put this substitution in equation number 4, then equation 4 become gamma of m is equal to is equal to 0 to infinity integration e to the power minus i time lambda x. The value of the t is i time lambda x uh, raised to m minus 1. Okay, and the dt is i time lambda dx. Now gamma of m is equal to is equal to now here uh, we construct the sum term e to the power i time lambda x. Now here i is present here i is present here and here the power of i is m minus 1 and here simply 1 okay. So we get i to the power base is same addition of power we get the simply m see in power m minus 1 and here 1 okay so we get simply m i to the i to the power m okay also lambda is present here so, uh, lambda raised to m minus 1 and here lambda lambda raised to 1 so we get lambda raised to m okay i and lambda it can be written as i to the power m okay and lambda to the power m okay now here uh, x is present x 
is present that is x to the power m minus 1 uh, dx now here uh, we have the exponential function Euler function e raised to i theta is cos theta plus i times sin theta and we express i in terms of the Euler function so similarly we express this i if we take m the power both sides so here uh, i to the power m it can be written as e to the power i m pi by 2 okay so here gamma of m is equal to here i to the power m we write as a uh, e to the power i m pi by 2 okay this is the constant okay and also constant is lambda to the power m and inside the integration is x that is 0 to infinity e to the power minus i time lambda x x to the power m minus 1 with respect to x okay now this constant term is divided here now it can be written as uh, gamma of m divided by lambda raised to m e to the power i m pi by 2 is equal to is equal to uh, what is the remaining term here 0 to infinity x to the power first we write x to the power m minus 1 and here e to the power minus i lambda x dx okay now this is the uh, conjugate uh, of e raised to i theta that is the conjugate of uh, e raised to i theta means conjugate of cos theta plus i sin theta is what cos theta minus i time sin theta that is e to the power minus i theta now this is the conjugate okay now also uh, one upon here here one upon one upon e raised to i theta it can be written as e raised to minus i theta okay so it can be written as uh, gamma of m e to the power minus minus m pi by 2 divided by lambda raised to m is equal to 0 to infinity x to the power m minus 1 and e raised to minus i theta it can be written as cos of theta theta is theta is lambda x that is cos of lambda x minus i time sine of lambda x and with respect to x integration similarly in left hand side the left hand side we can write uh, gamma of m divided by lambda raised to m in bracket uh, e raised to minus i theta theta is m pi by 2 it can be written as cos m pi by 2 minus i time sin of m pi by 2 okay is equal to is equal to now here uh, i'm separating real and imaginary part uh, that is 0 to infinity x to the power m minus 1 cos of lambda x uh, dx minus i time i time i is constant here minus i time and inside the integration inside the term of the integration 0 to infinity x to the power m minus 1 see the x to the power m minus 1 is multiplied here and the remaining term is sin lambda x dx okay see uh, in a left hand side this is the real part this is the imaginary part okay after multiplying this constant term okay. similarly in right hand side real part and imaginary part so we equate real and imaginary part equating real and imaginary part okay. equating equating real and imaginary parts on both sides okay so first we equate the real part see the lambda is to sorry gamma m divided by lambda is to m multiplied here okay so here 
गैमा बस वी इक्वेट द रियल पार्ट गैमा रेस टू यम डिवाइड बाय लैमडा रेस टू यम इनटू कॉस यम पाई बाय ओके सी दिस इज द रियल पार्ट एंड व्हाट इज रियल पार्ट इन राइट हैंड साइड इज इज जीरो टू इनफिनिटी एक्स टू द पावर यम माइनस वन कॉस लैमडा एक्स डीएक्स now imaginary part imaginary part c here uh, gamma m divided by lambda raised to m multiplied here here minus i time here also minus i time okay. so we get we get uh, gamma m divided by lambda raised to m sin m pi by 2 time m pi by 2 actually this is a theta huh? m pi by 2 0 to infinity x to the power m minus 1 sin of lambda x dx okay so this is the sol uh, solution the question is find the fourier cosine and fourier sine of x raised to m that is from equation 2 and 4 2 and 4 the equation 2 is capital f suffix C capital Y suffix C lambda that is Fourier cosine. What we get gamma Y lambda raised to Y cos Y pi by two. And what is Fourier sine? Fourier sine is gamma raised gamma Y divided by lambda raised to Y sine of Y pi by Okay, so which is required solution of the given function x to the power y minus one. Thank you.